Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to use the scanner class to grab input one char at a time. As you can see, I've got the Java doc for the scanner class here and if I scroll down into the bowels of this Java doc, you'll see fantastic methods like next int, next float, next double, next byte, next boolean, next big integer, next big decimal, but you won't find next char. And you know you can't tell a Java developer that there's no next char method for the scanner class without them wanting to create one of their own. So that's what I thought we'd do. I've got this little replet right here. I've already imported java.util. So starting off, I can just start off by creating a new scanner. You just do that by saying, hey, pass system in. That will grab input from the command line. I don't know, maybe as you grab input, you might want to bring that in initially as a string. String input equals, oh, what is it? It's scanner dot, oh, I always forget what that is. Next, because we want the next thing that's put in. And I don't know, why don't we do system dot out dot print line, and we'll just print line the input. Now I'm just doing this as a, a the structure for the class we want to create. It's just nice to make sure that things are working. So I'll click that beautiful green run button and see if this runs. When I get the little window there, I'm going to type in my name, Cameron, and it prints Cameron out to me. You know, maybe I want to put a little prompt in there, system.out.println. Type something in. It doesn't hurt to have a prompt in there, so it kind of tells the user what to do, but you get the idea. Now, this isn't printing out a char. I know it's not printing out a char. Uh, we've got to get there. Um, you see, when you actually type something in this next method, it, it actually pulls back everything until it finds uh, a blank space, right? That's the delimiter. Now, if you don't want to chunk things up in individual words, individual pieces of text, individual strings, what you can do is you can change the delimiter. And that's really the big trick here. So you go scanner.use delimiter. Don't use just a space. Use a non-space, like a blank blank, like an empty double quotes. And now we're saying scanner, keep giving me input, but split it up basically every time you see a new character. So that's the trick. Uh, the default is space, right? Every time it sees a space, it pulls back the next word. If you do that, it's gonna give you your input one char at a time. So now it's gonna chunk out a word like Cameron, that is a beautiful word, um, one letter at a time. So to go through it, we'll need a loop. So I'll do a little while loop. So while that scanner has next input to be processed. Let's do something. And uh, what is it we're gonna do? Well, I mean, I guess we could start off by just doing string input next and copying all of this good code in here. And then we can delete that there. We don't need that anymore. I don't know, does that look handsome? Well, you gotta spell these things properly. <laughs> not doing too well on my keyboard today, but you get the idea. Okay, so this all looks handsome here. Let's see what will happen if I run this. I'll click the run button. It'll say, hey, type something in. I'll type in Cameron. Jeez, I almost spelled my name wrong there. Spelled my name wrong twice. And there you go, it printed out one character at a time. So this looks like we are feature complete, but we are not um, because we're still using strings, right? The uh, the requirements for this use case, use case was throw in a char. So how can we do that? Well, make that a char. We'll still call it input scanner.next. But instead of scanner.next, uh, well, we say char at zero, right? That gets you the first element in a string, zero based counting. Now, if the string only has one element in it, well, the first character that you're going to get is the whole character of the string, right? The char. So this now gives us uh, our, our output back as a char. And I think this is really what we want to get to. So we'll stop that and clear it. Click little garbage can. Hi, Oscar the Grouch. Click run again. It's going to say to me, hey, type something in. And I'll type in Cameron, put an uppercase letter on the C, and boom, it 
types it all back to me there. So there you go. Now I have achieved my objective. I have now typed everything in. Um, by the way, uh, it will still process things like uh, carriage returns. So if you want, you know, you might want to, you know, say, hey, if that input is equal to you know, a new line character or an end of file or something like that, you know, just uh, get out of there. And so that might be something that you, you want to do. So if input equals n, a new line, oh, look at that, silly me, single quotes for a character. I almost thought I was working with a string there, and of course I'm not. That pulls the character in, I see no red squiggly lines, I click run, and this might work even a little bit better. So type in Cameron McKenzie and boom, we get my whole name and we get that return, which takes us back to the end of the line. And so there you go. That's just a simple little program that gives you a next char method for the scanner class. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Uh, we've got lots of great tutorials on Java input, Jakarta EE, Git, GitHub, DevOps, microservices, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter. But why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?